Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how I paint my kit. Um, sometimes, from time to time, I do get this question on my videos, uh, especially about the type of uh, top coat that I use. So, here's what's going on. Um, first of all, I use this. This is the Krylon matte finish um, spray paint. As you can see, this is a clear acrylic coating. That means it's a water base. You have to use this because if you use um, enamel type, it might uh, wash the paint that you put in because it will react with the painting. Um, yeah, so you have to use the acrylic type and make sure you get this kind. The one that uh, looks like a rocket ship, the top. Uh, do not get this one. Um, I got it just to try it out. This is a piece of crap. Um, yeah, like I know in Canada, you might actually find this kind uh, more often than this kind. Like I actually had to go to uh, Michael's uh, in Canada here to pick this up, but. You should probably, if you just go to like a Walmart or Canadian Tire, uh, you, they will probably just sell this kind. Do not get this. Again, I repeat, do not get this matte finish. This will ruin your kit, which I learned the hard way. Good thing it was SD kit, but this will ruin the painting. The only time you might want to pick this up, if you really do not have this anywhere where you live, um, would be if you're not painting the kit. So if it's a straight build and not much panel lining going on, then maybe you can use this to get a somewhat uh, matte finish, but stay away from this guy, so just don't get it, okay? So if you're looking for a nice matte finish that you can buy anywhere in North America, definitely use this uh, Krylon matte finish here. Uh, yeah. And then let's go over some really basic Gundam color that I use um, here. Uh, banner red for the usually the red piece. Um, I try other blues. I, this is not bad. Um, this is a fusion color, just more bright, I guess. I'm guessing. I don't know. And this one is called. Oh, it says here, yeah, no sanding or priming. So this Krylon fusion, you can just apply it. Um, on top of a plastic, I guess. I don't know. This is just, uh, I guess, blue. Doesn't say. Um, for the yellow, which is uh, probably the one of the tough uh, color to choose if you're starting out in Gunpla. Um, I see this yellow is actually not bad for Gunpla. It's called the Sun Yellow. Um, yeah, so give that a try. It all depends on your taste at the end of the day. Um, and then for the gray piece, um, smoke gray I think works pretty good. These are pretty much all glossy paints. Obviously once they're fully dried, fully, I again repeat, fully dried, you obviously want to go over with the matte finish to give it a matte look if you are painting. And um, here's uh, forest green for a deep uh, Zaku color and then if you're looking for a cheap uh, primer these are like what three four dollar for a big can so this is a Krylon primer white now if you're lazy like me you could technically use this as a flat uh, white paint I mean if you have a black piece that has to have a white color might as well paint with this <laughs> because the primer so it will stick better so we don't have to do too many coats so so yeah so pretty much uh, I just did this video to show you guys uh, what I use when I do paint but I do pretty much mostly do straight build because I'm lazy and I have no time so this is the matte coat that I use I, I did I mean I did try the Japanese um, spray paint they're good First of all, there's two problems. One is most retailer online will not ship it to you. And even if they do, it's extremely expensive. 
for this tiny can and these are like three dollar for this big can so um, yeah so Krylon acrylic clear acrylic type matte finish okay so thank you for watching and uh, leave a comment below if you guys know any other paint brand or any other uh, color type that goes well for Gundam let me know your opinion and uh, yeah so thank you for watching and see you on the next video